All right, Doug from Salt Lake. Here's another thing that I got. So, you know, when you become secured party and when you do your UCC filing and when you, uh, you know, start reading and understanding that there is no money and there's only set off and discharge and uh, you start understanding that you're not a U.S. citizen and you stop using a social security number like I haven't for five years now. I have an EIN. Um, when you're dealing with these fucking idiots, man, that work in the in the justice system, you know, they are so... It's just like these people wearing masks in their car driving down the freaking road by themselves. They're just stupid, okay? And if you're wearing a mask while you're walking your dog out in the sunlight, you need to just kill yourself, okay? Uh, the next video I do is going to go into some some really, really detailed paperwork that I got off the National Institute of Health's website. Um, but this one, you know, we're all doing this uh, child support administrative process that I did appeal. And uh, if you look up here, Okay, they got this thing right here. They have the UT courts, Utah courts, resources, waivers, docs, motion to waive fees, right? I put in a motion to waive fees. I showed you that. I put in a motion uh, for mediation so that we could go to mediation. And this right here, they sent me this. This is 10 pages long. It says private, but that's a lie because anything you put on this document is going out in public. So are you representing a private trust? Are you the trustee? Are you a private man or woman? Are you trying to remain private? Do you have the right to privacy? So one of the other things uh, that I was yelling and screaming about a couple, couple videos back was the word income. You know, they would really, really, really like for you to consent to filling out this form and using the word income and wages, okay? Income, income, dividends, interests, compensation, benefits. These are all public statuses and public words. This dumbass thinks that I'm going to fall for this and fill out this 10-page statement to go and support my motion to waive fees. Uh, no, I'm not telling you about any of my business interests. I'm sure as hell not telling you about any of the assets that I control. I'm not giving you bank account numbers. I'm not giving you any private information. I mean, they want everything, dude. Look at this. Personal property. Well, are you private? Is your trust private? then you don't have income, okay? And remember I told you the IRS does not define the word income? Let's, let's look at something real quick. So I just put in, look, we'll just go back. I'll just refresh, okay? And I'll do it live right here. Okay, this is a uh, legal definition of income, right? And you just come down here a little bit. You go to the Supreme Court definition of income, a free country. The term income is defined nowhere entitled. Whoa, divide, what? Okay, so let's click on this, right? And here it is. The term income is defined nowhere in Title 26, okay? And this guy's, I don't know who this guy is, but it's a freecountry.com. You can go, you know what, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll put that in the description. Um, Eisner versus McComber, Loyal Mitchell, Mitchell, Southern Pack versus Low, Merchant versus Trust. So what they do, let's go back here to the motion. Okay, what they do 
is they want to use the word gross income. They want to use wages, salary, commissions, bonuses, okay? They want you to submit that yes, you make income defined in the IRS. But the IRS doesn't define income, bro. And as a matter of fact, let's read this real quick, man, because this is this is really really nice. The term income is defined nowhere in Title 26. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just do that. Okay. The term income is defined nowhere in Title 26, which is the law that relates to the income tax. The term income has repeatedly been held by the courts to indicate gain on capital. Okay, so what is, you know what, just because I'm feeling my oats today, man, let's go and look up what is gain on capital. Okay, so let's go, what is capital gains? Okay, what do we got here? So capital gain refers to an increase in the capital's asset value. Um, okay. The business's income isn't a capital gain. The money you pay out for items is a business expense. The money you receive is business revenue. The difference between them is business income subject to employment taxes. A capital gain is uh, a capital gain or loss is the difference between the basis and the amount the seller gets when they sell an asset. Okay, what's this say? This is from Business Insider. Capital gains are profits derived from selling an asset. So capital gains are profits. And this is Investopedia. The capital gains tax is a type of tax applied to the profits earned on the sale of an asset. So it's not the asset. It's not your labor. It's if you make profit. Do you make profit? Because I don't make profit. I make an even exchange. I have a contract with somebody. I'm going to mow your lawn. You're going to give me 20 bucks, right? There's no profit involved. That way there's no capital gains. So anyway, here's the guys. I'll put that in the description. And, uh, once again, you got to read the language, man. Okay? You don't make income, and you sure as hell don't make gross income. Okay? You don't make any of this stuff. You don't have taxes. You know why you don't have taxes? Because you don't have income. Look, after-tax income, monthly income, gross income. Boy, they are just trying to get you to say you got income. Yeah? And then you've got, by the way, expenses. I guess I could I could maybe look at maybe filling that out. But I'm not going to fill any of this shit out, bro. These guys can kiss my ass. I am not telling them anything. This is, look what's on the last page. Right here. I do solemnly swear or affirm. And I might just black that out. I do solemnly affirm that due to my poverty... I am unable to bear the expenses of the action or legal proceedings which I am about to commence or the appeal which I am about to take and that I believe I am entitled to the relief sought. So yeah, maybe I'll go in here and I'll just, you know, I'll take some of this out, right? And I'll take this out and, and I'll put I, you know, do affirm that due to my poverty because remember people, when you're a trustee of a trust, you don't own anything. You just control everything. Peace.